Well, in this video, you might experience a little bit of temporary memory loss, a bit of fatigue, a lot of mispronunciation of the English vocabulary. <laughs> anyway, we're going to have a good time nonetheless, so come along. Well, howdy doody everybody, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of What the Heck Was That? Um, we are out at the woods. We're about to have a good old time. We got the dog. And yeah, we cook up some good food, a couple brews, and just relax and unwind and get out and enjoy and relieve ourselves from the stress of the world. Anyway, come along for a good time. If not, too bad. Bye. Looks like we got some bones back in here. Oh, my backpack's stuck. Uh. Yes, sir, Bob. Back over there, too. Must have been the killing site. There's a spine. Some other stuff. Magical. Tools of the trade to make weapons. Uh, just trotting along, I look down, I see a mat, then I look up, and I see a deer stand. Peachy. You guys remember the time I brought my kids out for the first wild camp? We were at that exact same location. Um, it's a little bit later in the day, so I figured we'd come to somewhere we've already set up before since we got it somewhat cleared out. There is kind of a little bit of wood left. Um, we already got a spot established for fire. But yeah, we're just gonna sit back, relax. It's kind of windy. Make sure nothing's really leaning on us that can kill us. That one might hurt. Looks pretty dead. So let's go ahead and set up under it. Yeah. Looks like a good killer stick. Anyway, you guys seen the pack coming in. I like uh, This was also one of my Uncle Fred's packs. I just thought it was too fat to fit in it. But we got this thing completely stretched to the freaking max on this thing for it to Fit around my gut. This thing's pretty old, I think, and it's like leaking dusty stuff from all the foam padding getting corroded in there. <laughs> I think that's what's going on in there. Anyway, I looked them up on eBay. You can pick one up for like 40, 50 bucks. Not too shabby. It's super lightweight. Customize it, put a nice little bit on there. Either way, I'm rambling. Let's uh, sit back, relax, have a good old time. Get camp established. Just wing it and bring it. Hey, uh, yes, this is an urban location. You're gonna hear planes, trains, and automobiles. Ah, for some of you who don't know. Anyway, yeah. Where are you, Ben? Where are you, Ben? Get out there chasing the ladies again. I don't pee on my bag. kind of got to get creative sometimes the way you tie this stuff Ugh. on these older packs because they don't have like all the clips and gizmos and gadgets they just kept it simple like things are supposed to be no I can't get that thing out of there because I tied a knot perfect let's slip it to the side and see if that works and also for good measure wrapped around the old bungee Some of you guys might remember this tent. Found it out, out front of a Home Depot with my kids. <laughs> Finders keepers. Always like getting oversized tents, or having oversized tents. One, it's more room for gear, and 
more room for the dang dog. That little fur ball. Fire! Go ninja, go ninja, go. Ninja, go ninja. Here, what is it? Three ninjas. Some of you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Whatever. Hey, puppy. Hello, hey, puppy. This morning, it may rain overnight. Either way, we're probably gonna get moisture. Precipitation, moisture, whatever, moist. Some people don't like that word. What do we got going on here? Uh oh. I think fluffy furry baby's onto something. No? False alarm? Hey. I just brushed him before he came and he's already all puffy. Summer's upon us and he's getting real hairy. Anybody want some German Shepherd hair to twist around a fishing hook to make some flies? Let me know. Okay. Look at a fur baby. Look at a fur baby. Oh, I guess if we get cold we can stuff the backpacks with uh, dog hair. Uh, climb in there. Well, the old Tintaruni is up and at him. Magical. All right, we've got our sleeping bag and a dry bag. Have you guys seen the other camp out with the old school gear? Um, you know that this is my Uncle Fred's bag as well. And for some of you who don't know, Uncle Fred is somebody who passed away um, about a year ago and he was real dear to my heart and he was just an overall good fella. I mean a lot of people go through that stuff and deal with it. It's a circle of life. But uh, yeah, don't know why I feel like sharing that with you if you're new here, but yeah, there you go. Anyway, it didn't have a bag, so ugh. we stuffed it in one. I like to stuff the freaking sleeping pad in a bag liner just to protect the investor just in case a dog steps on it. Peachy. Alright, I'll put another extra little tarp down just for extra precaution. We got our bag. We got the pad stuffed inside of the bag. Gonna keep it simple and easy. Call that good. All right, the dog goes ready to go too. The world famous Kilimanjaro. <laughs> See, it's a little dusty, but she's trusty. This is the first adventures we, we have got to take this on. So, I mean, even with the load we had on, that was not bad. Had the water in the red bag, of course. A couple of brewskis. But, yeah, I do like the idea of packing a sleeping bag on the outside and a freaking uh, dry bag. It allows for a lot more room outside. Not too shabby. And the thing only weighs like, like a pound and a half, something silly like that. It's super lightweight. Um, we may have to figure out some sort of hip strap system for it, but work with what we got, I guess. Well, as you can tell, the firewood around here is plentiful. But what I want to try to do is cook tonight. Um, we need to find us a nice little log that I can cut up. And I did bring a little auger 
And uh, yeah, we're gonna try to drill through the center of it. I'm sure some of you guys have seen that before. If not, keep watching, you'll see it. <laughs> looking for a dead tree that's still standing because everything on the ground is either rotten or wet so I mean there's plenty but we do only have the little gone boy so it has to be about the perfect maybe like six to eight inch log I'm wondering if we can make this work that uh, might be kind of wet too I'm kind of dead well, of course it's all dead. <laughs> energy <sighs> don't stand under the log either it's not very smart <sighs> so jump on it hey get watch out oh yeah go right under it go dark go He's right under it. Son of a biscuit eater. Ah. What are we doing with our lives? saw for five days. I'm hoping somewhere in here will be alright. <laughs> oh. Oh. Silky. Ah. Oh. Well, that's cool. That's the second blade I busted like that. Ah, oh, silly son of a biscuit eater. Well, that sucks. Now the question is, can we make it work? There we go. Get off of there. Peachy. And one more time. Ah. 
Ah, come on. Woo! When failure comes, do you give up or do you keep going? It's all about how you react. Holy snackers, we are in that log. What? You want some? Alright, now we got our log. Take our auger bit here. I had to make a, a little janky, uh, cardboard and electrical tape case for it because it didn't come with one and I don't have one. I'm going to take this auger bit. I'm going to drill down in the center. Maybe about as far as we can get it. It's about maybe three inches towards the bottom. And then uh, we'll drill in halfway here and then go from there. When all else fails, I guess you got to pull out the big guns. I think that's about as deep we're gonna go. All right, we got our holes drilled. Now, get her ready to fire up. She's ready. All right, what I got here is some birch bark. The birch is not native to our area but uh, they do plant it at some parks and when I take the kids or me and Gallup out on a stroll I go ahead and steal me some. What I'm going to do I'm going to crumble this up and I'm just going to kind of let the crumbles go down into this hole with hopefully not blocking it. We don't want to pack it super tight. This wood is not wet or anything so we should be good. You gotta keep these on the side so once we put our pan up here, it can still breathe. Otherwise, of course, we'll suffocate the dang thing. And I got some fat wood here. We'll just light up and then stick in the hole over here. And it should, theoretically, be good to go. Alright, guys, for dinner, I've never tried this concoction before. But. We're gonna try to do like a, a goofy pita bread bratwurst deal. We got some, uh, I believe it's chicken, spinach, and feta cheese brats. Got some horseradish mustard. We got some sweet peppers. Got some pita bread. Got some butter and some cheese, uh, pepper jack cheese things. I tell you what, I've been shopping at Aldi's a lot lately. Um, they do have some products that are still bio-engineered uh, ingredients and stuff in it. Because I'm trying to wing my kids off of all that crap. I mean, I mean, this is just a side note, but they're trying to kill us. <laughs> Plain and simple. They don't want us living any longer than we can for some reason. I don't know. It's what it seems like anyway these days. But anyway this is still um under like 10 15 dollar meal and it's a lot better i know i'm notorious for all the wing ding 
freaking camping, uh, cooking nonsense. Like, I basically eat, I'm like a goat, freaking eating all the trash. But I, I don't want to do that no more. I mean, I'm still going to throw some concoctions and stuff together, but I'm going to try to watch the ingredients a little more because, man, some of that stuff is just straight poison. But anyway, with that being said, we'll get this ready to rumble. What the heck was that? Maybe it's just a tree cracking. I thought the predator was over there. <laughs> Here we go, do it. Any red laser dots? Peachy. What a great place to die. Sorry, not sorry. Yep, urban noises. Settle down, Vin Diesel, it'll be okay. Anyway. Yeah, all, uh, all those ingredients too. I mean, I cut everything in half and there's still a lot more. I mean, for 10, 15 bucks, that's like almost three meals. But I cut it in half, like I said. Anyway, I'm farting around. All right. Well, I couldn't help but notice these mushrooms as I had before. So I came over and took a couple pictures of them. I've been thinking about doing, if, if you guys follow the channel religiously or put up with all my crap all the nonsense wacky this that and the other videos you know that I put out a little McGee photography uh, video and somebody commented you should do that more like during the videos um, well maybe what I could do with some photos um, maybe we do like a photo Friday or something I put together a little video something like that but sometimes I don't always have time to get out and snap photos and all that good stuff but I don't know, just a concept I'm kind of throwing around. Anyway, I couldn't help but notice this big old tree. Let's fart around it. Let's try not to lose an eyeball. Some dense bush. Oh, something's definitely got to be living in there. Oh, yeah, watch my foot go through this. Oh yeah, there's got to be critters living in there. Let's not biff it. Please don't snap. I ain't that fat, am I? Cool, got a nice little vantage point. Can't see far, but... Pretty cool. And the cool thing is, you could probably use some of this bark as a fort roof. But, like I said before, this woods, these woods are able to be hunted and stuff, and I kind of want to leave them just pristine. I was thinking about building a fort out here, but I like call it the hunter's cabin or something, but I guess just leave it pristine for what it is. This is just a patch of weeds in the middle of the city. If you guys don't know, we don't have much woods. Yeah, and this is like the least trashed woods we got around here. And there is some caps and bottles and stuff around here, but one of the better spots we got to go. And the reason why I hiked water in here, there's no water around. So, makes sense. Well, guys, the sad truth of it is, I think there was a hunter running around here on Viagra or something. These are just jokes, calm down. Well, the temperature is dropping and we ain't using that little uh, log for our heat tonight, so I'm starting to get a runny nose. I think uh, about time to get a fire rolling. It's freaking chilly. We ain't gonna have to cut up a bunch of crap. I mean, everything's laying on the ground, so we're gonna keep it simple. Just start burning up the floor without burning down the forest. None of that. All right, to get this fire going, we're gonna use some of Bob Ross's hair. <laughs> no, just kidding. We got some petroleum cotton balls in here. Simple and easy, then hit it with a ferro rod, and should take right off. 
what I do recommend is kind of breaking up these little uh, petroleum balls, though. Get all the fibers right out in the open. Kind of got it tucked away in there. Hopefully, we can get fair rod to drop sparks down in there. See what we make happen. Oh. First try. Oh my god, come on. Wow. Perfect. Not diggity dog. Let's warm up these buns. That'll boost spirits. Get this thing fired up. Hopefully this takes off like I think it should. I mean, if not, we got a fire to get uh, cooking on, but whatever. Cool beans. Oh yeah, she's going now. That's yeah, awesome. That's gonna burn forever too. I don't even need these sticks. Dig her out in there. That thing's piping out. I mean, super hot. Be able to cook on that. Cool. Something got disturbed. Yeah, there's something that's on the ground. Pay attention to the animals, they'll tell you what's going on. They'll alert you. Well, one Mississippi. Mississippi. Ouch. Yeah. A good according to the old uh, 10 second rule, it's putting out enough heat to keep us rumbling, so let's see what happens. See if we can get that without sliding off. It sure is a smoky mess though. Get some good old butter in there. Without ripping it off the thing. Really. Big old healthy, healthy hunkering of butter. Yeah, it's working. It's melting some butter. Frogs on here. I'm gonna put the lid on and let it simmer. Well guys, my dinner's cooking up. Check this out. This is the Wizard C2 Pro Max from Army Tech. They sent us this thing out. Um, it's pretty freaking sweet. Uh, we usually rock the through night, but uh, I think they bailed on us <laughs> after that poacher video. But anyway, side note, um, this thing is magnetic. It has 4,000 lumens. Um, it's waterproof up to 10 meters for five hours. On the Firefly mode, this thing will go, I think at like 0.6 lumens. Um, it'll go for 62 freaking days. Pretty freaking insane. I mean, this thing's waterproof, magnetic. You can use it as an EDC. Uh, comes with a clip and all sorts of stuff. Um, I've seen some people open it and that came with a, like a bike mount. But mine, unfortunately, did not come with a bike mount. I'm not sh sure. Um, but yeah, it's not too shabby of a freaking headlamp. Um, been using it for a bit now. I really like it because it's magnetic and I've been using it with my car. 
like working on my car. Um, it's not too shabby. I mean, 4,000 lumens, poof! That's pretty freaking bright. Um, you just hold it. You, oh, I kind of messed up the camera there. It's got all sorts of different settings. It even has like a strobe and all that good stuff. You just hold it down. It's simple tinkering around, getting to learn it and stuff. And one of the cool features is the freaking charger for this is magnetic. But I find that as a downfall too. Because if you lose this, you're kind of screwed unless you get a new one, you know. But not too shabby. Anyway, if you're in the market for something like that, I mean, it's tough. And they have a 10-year freaking warranty, no questions asked. So, good bang for your buck. If you're interested in something like that, um, in the description, there'll be a discount code. I think it's like 15% off or 10 to 15, something like that. So, yeah. Yeah, do that. Yeah, let's give this the old what for, huh? It's bubbling. It's cooking. A little slower than we'd like, but I mean, not too bad for a little log frickin' concoction, huh? Cool beans. Should fix it down without taking a spill. Alright. No, you ain't getting none of these peppers, dude. I got food for you later. He's got uh, some kibbles and bits and hot dogs. But he thinks he's gonna get some of these peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and chop these up. I'm gonna throw them back in the bag, get them ready. What? Ain't nothing but a hound dog. Uh -huh. You don't like these. Well, you're not gonna like them. Oh, let's not lose them. These things are so good. Mm. Gotta eat your colors. sitting incredibly awkward. Ah, tell you what, this fire's hot too. <laughs> yep, burning my legs. Oh, we didn't think this one through. Ugh. I don't know if you guys can hear the freaking brat sizzling over there. I think cooks, it's cooking, but it's pretty slow. I think we might throw it on the coals. To speed up the process a little bit. Anyway, I'm gonna get everything all prepped up and uh, bring you guys back here in a little bit. Woo I mean, it is cooking. Cool concept and all, but I think I want to speed up the process. I am freaking starving. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, stuck to the bottom. Alright, well I was gonna kinda grill or brown these up, but I think I'd like it better with them nice and soft. So might be a little easier to manage. Take our cheese. The brats are almost done. Throw a chunk of cheese down here. Hopefully the brock can help melt that. Cheese down there. Throw some peppers up in there. More than there because you're going to eat them all anyway. Whatever. Woo, looking good. Alrighty. I think it's about time to pull these bad boys off of here. Oh yeah. Put right on that cheese. Get that melted cheese. Ooh. Oh yeah. Get in there. Ah, it's spicy. Ah. Sit that up the side. I'm gonna throw some Dijon. Or not Dijon mustard, but horseradish mustard. I know everything kind of contradicts itself in here, but hey, we'll see what happens. I've never made this. And just to upset a couple people, I have some ketchup packets. 
I had one guy say he wanted to stomp me to death in my sleep because I put ketchup on a brat before. <laughs> Whatever. Eats their own. Oh, yeah. Did you get a load of that concoction of nonsense? Woo-wee! See how it should taste. Alrighty. See if we did start getting smoked out. It doesn't look like it's gonna be too promising. Well, here we go. We shall see what the heck we got going on here. But I'm excited. Cheers! Gosh darn, don't you love it when the plan comes together? Holy crap! That's freaking good. Mmm. That's awesome. That's really freaking good. Holy moly. Cool beans. <laughs> yeah. Terrible seating placement. Holy snikes. This is pretty freaking good, guys. If you guys get a chance, give that one a try. That's freaking awesome. Sweet peppers and the pepper jack cheese and everything. It's kind of like... Oh man, it's just a perfect, perfect little concoction. Awesome. Anyway, we're gonna take this nonsense to Pound Town. Get this fire going. It's getting cold, the temperature is dropping. Bring you guys back here in a little bit. Cheers! I couldn't find my other plate, so I only brought one. So, oh, my bad, puppy. But, kibbles and bits and hot dogs. <laughs> I'll chop them up for you. How about that? Not like it's gonna matter. It all makes a turd, right? Rawr. There you go, Mike. Might be flying over us from that uh, smoke. <laughs> looks like the sky's starting to clear up a little bit though. It kind of looks blue. Well, guys, cheers. Time for an adult soda pop. Yeehaw on a seesaw. Here's to another year of content and good times and shenanigans. It's been, what, five, six years now trying to make some shenanigans happen without. Uh, skipping a beat I mean haven't haven't missed a week I guess it haven't been the greatest of content <laughs> but it's been something it's been a learning experience and you're never gonna learn if you don't try but here's to that hopefully many more years to go it is a Friday night somebody must be running or getting in trouble or something because I got the bird in the air Anyway, I want to give a big shout out to a fellow named Scott. You know who you are. Um, with Whitetail Custom Rods. Some of you guys seen that picture of the fishing pole that I posted on um, the YouTube channel community page. And then if you guys follow me on Facebook, you guys have seen um, the rods and stuff. And I want to share that with you guys now. And uh, just check out what he made for us. It's freaking awesome. And uh, see you guys here in a second. Well, howdy doody guys. Thanks for tuning in. We are here to talk about these absolutely gorgeous freaking fishing poles um, from Whitetail Custom Rods. He took a big chance on us and made these for us. Um, this one here is dedicated to my Uncle Fred who passed away and he made one for our channel. Um, he spent all this money out of his own pocket to do this for us and uh, I want to show some appreciation. And you guys, I'll put a link to his stuff uh, in the description. Go check him out. But with that being said, let's take a look at the craftsmanship of this thing. It's absolutely gorgeous.
this one here is like your everyday. I mean, my favorite uh, color is forest green, so he made it forest green. We got the outdoors McGee on the back. Um, this thing is just absolutely beautiful. It's like your everyday bass, trout, whatever. This one has 20 pound braided camo colored line on it. Um, this thing is super fancy. This is like, I mean, I drive a 98 freaking Honda, and this is like a 2024 freaking Mercedes Benz. But, <laughs> Like, it's crazy, absolutely amazing work, man. Uh, Scott, thank you very much. And tune into the YouTube channel, guys, because summer is upon us. We're gonna be out there trying to rip some lips and uh, hopefully change the, the past of what's gone on with our fishing. We don't catch much, <laughs> but hopefully this year's our year and uh, these are lucky poles or something of the sorts. And Whitetail Custom Rods will ship anywhere in the United States, so go message him, get your order in and uh, get out there and fling it and wing it. Some of you know, he did this uh, little four piece put together pole as well, a little survival fishing kit. But holy snikes, man, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this one here has 80 pound braided line on it. He said, it, I think he's rated for like up to 130 pound fish maybe, um, if all goes well. I mean, if you guys ever watch my YouTube channel, you know we don't catch much, but <laughs> holy moly, this is, I don't know, mind blown. I don't know all the crazy specs and everything. All I know is this is a really light rod. And um, I mean, it's supposed to be some, some pretty good stuff in here. He knows what he's talking about, I don't. But I wanna put it out there. Sorry, we're in my backyard, middle of the city. But I wanna put it out there that, uh, go check out his channel. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to get these out there. And then the one dedicated to my Uncle Fred really means a lot to me, so. I don't know, this is just gorgeous, absolutely amazing work. Um, like I said, uh, go check out his channel, or his page, and uh, give him a follow, hit him hit him up, see if you can get a custom rod, get something going with him. So, with that being said, hope everybody has a wonderful day. Anyway, yeah, thanks for putting up with that, guys, and go check him out. Uh, the link to his page will be in the description, just like I said previously in that little video. But, yeah, check him out, get an order in pretty good rods I got to test uh, the outdoors McGee one the other day I caught three fish it was pretty sweet I gave them to a fella um, that is like he's like hey now I hit, caught my limit now I can go home and watch basketball so I helped him out on a cold windy day but anyway cheers good times good rhymes and shenanigans for all yeah well I guess I yammered a little bit too long without realizing where the heck my plate was I don't know, these last few camping videos we've been melting stuff. <laughs> oh man, it was on that log down there and I didn't even pay attention. Whatever. Look at that, that's the headlamp. Lighting up the whole dang forest. It's like it's daytime with this headlamp. Holy shnikes. Well, guys, not too much going on. The clouds have came back in. Came back in, come back in. Blew back in. What is the proper verbiage? Whatever. Anyway, it's here now. <laughs> Told you at the beginning, improper use of vocabulary in the English language. <laughs> Yeehaw. But yeah, anyway, nothing too crazy going on. Sitting back, farting around, getting sticks for the fire. Staying warm. It's supposed to get down to about 24 degrees tonight, so. It is going to be a little bit chilly, but we should be alright in the bag. Also I wanted to give you guys a heads up. The next video is probably going to be uh, another e-bike video. I know, yay, hooray, right? But the thing is with those e-bikes and stuff, it, like I said before, um, I could sell those. <laughs> and it makes, I, make, I make more from like two videos like if I sell those e-bikes then I do off YouTube in like almost a whole two years so because we don't put up great numbers or anything but I mean besides the point um, I'm just saying but thanks to those for all the support who put up with the crap but that's the reason being I'm not gonna say yes to um, any more stuff I mean if I get a good power bank or something yeah 
and then maybe some other e-bikes or something but uh, otherwise there's not gonna be any more review crap we need to get away from that it kinda messes with my brain <laughs> oh yeah that's it it's the reviews that messes with your brain whatever anyway guys cheers I don't know what the heck that noise is. Thor, stay over here. He's gonna go investigate. Almost sounded like a, a kid screaming. <laughs> like, I don't know, it reminded me of like a small child screaming, giggling. Interesting. Yeah, I think he's calling it a night. Oh, I follow you, mate. Wow, humbug. Well, guys, you hold on the seesaw. Ugh. About that time to crawl in the bag. It is chilly. We'll see what happens. Oh, and uh, I've had some people comment in the past, why are you wearing blue jeans when it's that cold? I don't know if you guys can see. Oh. They're double insulated. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing them. Shout out to Galpo for the pants. Anyway, ugh, got a fresh pair of nice big old socks. We're gonna throw on. Like I said, it's supposed to get down to the low 20s tonight, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, we'll catch you guys in the morning if we don't get murdered. See ya. Oh, well, guys, good morning. It's 7 o'clock. The dog's ready to rock. Ooh. The birds are chirping. They sound pretty cool. Anyway, up and at them. This is always peachy. Yeah. Good old shedding time. Oh yeah, there's still a bit of coals under there. We have fire! Well, probably not gonna be too crazy of a morning. I got a simple and easy little breakfast idea. Not too fancy, but something new, something to do. And uh, probably get everything packed up. You ready to rumble. Watching that sun come up through the trees is freaking beautiful. It's nice to get out in our little slice, slice of urban woods. It would be nice to have some vast wilderness, but hey, like I said before, make do with what we got. Yeah. We were a wonderful house for that night. I think we got most of the dog hair out of there. <laughs> All right, for breakfast we have, I believe it's some like vanilla almond cereal and cocaine. No, I'm just kidding. Powdered milk. 
good way to start the day, woo! No, good way to ruin your life, kids. These are just jokes. Anyway. Yeah, we're gonna do up that. Sit next to the coals. Nothing crazy. Got our milk cereal. Everybody's favorite. Always bring plenty of extra powdered milk. Cause you know when you never know when somebody else wants a bump. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> These are jokes, I'm sorry. Yep, not too shabby. Pretty old stir rooney. That's not bad at all. I like to always add a little bit more of the powdered milk because it does make it taste better. Not too shabby. Anyway. Take this pound town, boots to the ground, head back to town. Well, we're in town, but you get it. Anyway, cheers. Oh, that dust coming out of there. What the heck is that? Probably ain't great for breathing. Ugh. This pack is easier than the blue one to get on, surprisingly. Ugh. If you guys see my other blue one. Anyway, we're packed up, ready to attack. Let's hit the road, Jack. Well, hot diggity dog. We have made it back to the car. It's still here, thankfully. Hopefully nobody tried to break into it. Anyway, thanks for coming along for the goofy shenanigans, guys. It was nice to get out and just relax and wind. Um, a little bit chilly, but good time to get silly. Anyway, get out there and enjoy, guys. Make every day great exploring Earth. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.